today I have a plump and perky turkey. The people in Squawk Valley were downhearted and depressed. Thanksgiving was approaching, but without its special guest. They couldn't find a turkey for the feast they had planned to eat. It looked like they'd be making do with bowls of shredded wheat. A plump and perky turkey is what we need, they all agreed. But finding turkeys nowadays is very hard indeed. The birds have gotten smarter, and they all seem quite aware that it's best to disappear when autumn leaves are in the air. A plump and perky turkey, stomachs rumbled of the thought, but how to trick a turkey into jumping in the pot? The Ebenezer Beezer had a thought pop in his head. If we can't find a turkey, let's have one find us instead. We could hold an arts and crafts fair, he declared with a wink and a gay grin. A fair with one grand turkey prize that all of us could win. And since our goal is turkey, that's the theme we'll take to heart. We'll fill our fair with folks and fun and tons of turkey art. We'll make turkeys out of spuds and out of clay and out of rope. And we'll make turkeys out of oatmeal and out of paper and out of soap. We'll hang a bunch of posters in the forest way down low to invite some turkey candidates to model for our show. Why even turkeys understand, as everybody knows, you can't make turkey art without a turkey there to pose. The people in Squawk Valley held a poster jumpery. They plastered their creations onto every single tree. It says, Model Wanted, a plump and perky squawk, oh, a, let me correct myself, Model Wanted, a plump and perky turkey, Squaw Valley Art Show. Now it happened in Squawk Valley, lived a turkey known as Pete. He was cocky, he was clever, and he really liked to eat. While he stuffed through the forest, plump and perky through the pines, he was startled and intrigued by all those interesting signs. With a proud and jaunty gobble, he gave out a hearty cry. A plump and perky turkey? Well, I'm sure I qualify. Pete applied for the position and he strutted plump and proud. He could hardly wait to model for the large and eager crowd. You're hired, shouted Beezer, for the folks had all agreed that Pete the Perky Turkey was the answer to their need.
"'Twas the week before Thanksgiving when Pete posed to do his part, and the artsy-cratsy townsfolk started making turkey art." Turkey's over here in this chair, and they're all painting him. They made turkeys out of spuds and out of clay and out of rope. They made turkeys out of oatmeal and out of paper and out of soap. Thanksgiving Day, the artwork done, they asked the model down to judge their homemade turkeys and to pick the best one in town. Now, when the judging's over, Beezer whispered in a smile, we'll tuck that model turkey in the oven for a while. Pete judged each piece of artwork as the hungry crowd all cheered. He stopped to take a closer look and then he disappeared. There were turkeys made of spuds. There were turkeys made of rope. There were turkeys made of paper. There were turkeys made out of soap. The room was full of turkeys in a wall-to-wall -wall collage. For a clever bird like Pete, it was the perfect camouflage. Do you see him in there? Do you see Pete the turkey? I think I spotted him. He's hiding over here. He's over here, old Beezer said. He's here, said Jacob Green. They searched amongst the turkeys, but their bird had fled the scene. A note in the turkey scrawl they found half hidden in the lawn. Goodbye, I took my modeling for The oatmeal bird was gone. The people in Squawk Valley were left feeling rather blue. The only turkeys left in town appeared to be hard to chew. Oh, well, said Beezer brightly as they gathered round to eat. Right now, at least I'm thankful that we still have shredded wheat. How do you think they're feeling? Look at their facial expressions. Look at their face. How do you think they're feeling? They look kind of sad because they don't have a turkey. That day folks learned a lesson that stuck firm with them forever. A plump and perky turkey can be pretty doggone clever. And that was all. That was a plump and perky turkey.